Once again, Elon Musk has casually mentioned that he's created something amazing. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is the Technophiles Newscast. I'm David Geisler, and Elon Musk wants to bring his amazing Tesla batteries into your home. Last week during an earnings call, Musk casually mentioned that Tesla plans to develop a home version of the batteries that they've been putting in their cars. This doesn't mean that they're developing AA batteries or 9 volt batteries or anything like that. They're actually planning on making much larger batteries that connect to your home and help you store energy from solar panels and other green technologies. Which is actually really interesting because right now if you want to, let's say, set up your own solar panels, you have to do this weird process of plugging in 12 car batteries in your garage and all these cords and it's in its it's a very DIY kind of thing. If Tesla can make a super simple battery that people can use and install in their houses, I mean, this could be a really cool thing. I do kind of enjoy that Elon Musk said, I think I might like batteries more than cars. He's so casual. Oh, you know, just making batteries for homes and cars and making rockets that go into outer space. You know, little things, saving the world one line at a time. You know, it's just Musk. He's just doing his Musk thing. But have you heard of my new cologne line? The Elon Musk Musk? But getting back to the point, there's actually a very interesting connection here. Tesla and a company called Solar City. Solar City is a company that Elon Musk actually sits on the board of, and they have really been leading the way in solar energy these past couple of years. They were founded in 2006. They have like 39% of the renewable energy market right now. They're killing it. What they do is they lease solar panels to a client. The client then pays less than what they would for their normal energy bill, and any extra power that's generated, Solar City sells it back to the local utility. It's kind of good for everybody. It's good for the customer, it's good for Solar City, it's good for the utility company. And that's kind of why local utility companies aren't really freaking out yet, because some of that power goes back into their system. Solar City has really been doing some amazing things in the commercial space, but they haven't really cracked residential yet. The thing is, if this is something that becomes regular in everybody's house, like an appliance, like a dishwasher, a refrigerator, and your battery storage unit. There will come a day where there will be a financial tipping point and the utility companies will start to get kind of nervous about this. And I say nervous from their point of view because obviously for, uh, from a saving the world point of view this is amazing but from the utility company staying in business this is going to seriously affect them. Regardless there's no denying that Tesla's new battery is going to be an important step forward in renewable energy. So how do you guys feel about all this? Do you think that Elon Musk might be doing for solar energy what Apple did for portable music? I'm not joking. Let us know in the comments below or tweet us at Technophiles Pod. Of course, you can always find us on Facebook by searching Technophiles or go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. All right, that's it, guys. I'll see you Thursday. You know, I feel like maybe we should just take a second here and bring it down a notch. I want to let you guys know that whenever I'm feeling emotional, passionate, perhaps even romantic about saving the world or coming up with amazing inventions, I wear Elon Musk Musk. Mmm, that sweet, sweet scent of musk sweat. <laughs>